<laughs> hey guys, been a while, huh? Sorry, I've been really busy. Um, I missed Halloween. I was gonna do a Halloween video, but I uh, kind of got busy with other things and uh, didn't get to do that. So I decided I was gonna just do a video on these. Uh, we got these at McDonald's. Uh, they are new Mario Kart toys. And I wanted to do a little unboxing. I know there's other unboxing videos out there that are probably better than mine. But I thought I'd do my own just because it's fun. It's fun to do. And uh, so let's check these out. So instead of doing wrappers, they're coming in little boxes now. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one. Number one, Mario. Sorry for the lighting and glare, guys. <laughs> I don't, I, I try with my setups, but it's, it's hard these days. All right, so little box, oh, the little box has pictures of the other toys on the back. My camera would focus. I don't know why it won't. Hold on a second. Sometimes if I do that, there we go. There are 10 in total. Ten different ones and two gold specials. There's a gold Mario and a pink gold Princess Peach. So I'll be looking for the rest of these, but I never count on finding all the toys because our McDonald's doesn't seem to get all of the toys in a set sometimes. So they all come in, instead of coming in the wrappers, they come in these little boxes, which is fine. I mean... But then you got the tissue paper, so I don't get the point of a box. The box is actually really cute. You could probably display them on top of the box if you wanted to display them. Um, it's a cute display option, honestly, for a collector. Um, which I might actually do that with these eventually, but for now, um, I have like a Happy Meal box for each toy that I got. But, uh, let's see. Alright, let's check this guy out. So, apparently you can swap their bases with other cars. Um, these do have little wheels on them. Uh, I don't know how you attach them exactly. It says on the instruction sheet here, you can take him off the base. And click him onto a different one. Um, it's kind of a cool idea. And here's the little stickers that go on. So let's go ahead and put those on, just, you know, because we're having fun here. Uh, let's see, how do they go on on the picture? I'll look at it over here. Okay. So, this little one on the front. How's everyone's Halloween? Let me know in the comments. Mine was fine. Um, had an annoying thing happen, but uh, I won't talk about it. Um... It's a little, it's probably a common problem with Halloween that uh, most people go through. So it's probably not worth, not even worth discussing, honestly. But, uh, okay, so looks like this sticker goes on the other side. Looks like the little wavy part goes on the, goes toward the back like that. Yeah. Nice. Alright, now I've got this little guy. I mean, I am a Nintendo fan and a fan of Mario Kart in general, so these were actually a pretty nice, nice promotion to see at McDonald's for once. Because we've been getting <laughs> really... I think, besides the boo buckets for Halloween, we've been getting some really cruddy promo toy promotions the past couple of years. Alright, there we go. He's got his little got his little stickers on. Mario is complete. And uh, let's see if we can figure out... Oh, there we go. Figure out how to get him off of his little, little base here. There we go. Pops right off. There we go. He has the, the hover base. 
So we'll just set him aside. And we will open up. Let's see. Looks like all the ones I got, the first three, are all hover bases. That's kind of boring, huh? Well, I'll get the... Um, I'll try to get the other ones, too. Because it uh, looks like they all come with different bases. Um, looks like Bowser and Donkey Kong might have, like, more monster truck type bases. Yoshi's, like, a basic... So yeah, they all have, um, some have the same little base and some have different, which, I mean, it's an interesting concept to be, to, for sure, but, uh, to have most of them have the same base and have them be swappable, that's, um, there's only, like, when you really look at them, it looks like there's only about three different styles. Yeah, there's only about three different styles, but there's ten toys, so I guess it makes sense if you want to, if you only get, like, one of each style. Um, it's another way of collecting them all, I guess. But, uh, alright, so let's check out Princess Peach. We'll put her stickers on, too. I actually, what I do with a lot of these is I keep them in the box until I uh, decide to make a display for them later because I only have so much shelf space and I don't change my displays out that often oh um, one of my next videos I think I'm going to show some old vintage 80s toys that I still have that I found recently in my storage so stay tuned for that so that I'd uh, bring that up you know <laughs> All right, so here's Peach. Got the little base. Let's see if it pops up easy. Oh, these are actually kind of hard to pop off. I don't want to break it. Okay, there we go. They fit on kind of tight, so it's kind of it's it's a good thing, I guess. Here's her little sticker sheet. They all come with um basic stickers and different little accessory stickers or power-ups. Put it on as straight as possible. Stri straight as possible. There we, there we go. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely hoping. I mean this this gives me hope that um McDonald's might might promote Sonic 3 which is coming out in December December 20th if none of you knew um, that's one of the main things I collect is Sonic so and I got like the complete set from 2022 when that movie came out so I'm hoping that they come out with a decent set of toys promoting the movie or anything at all would be nice um because yeah the past couple of mcdonald's promotions have been rather disappointing for me um i'm sure a lot of other people too i mean yeah a lot of the stuff is geared more towards our generation of children but these are actually they can be for the kids and for the adults because, you know, they're more nostalgic type. This was actually the first one I got, by the way. Um, I was just going to get her and a couple of other ones, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to spring for the whole set if we get them. So, all right, so I'm just going to put her back in her box for now. Sorry for the crinkling, guys. Sorry for the noise. Anybody with sensitive ears? All right, so that was number one and number two. Now let's work on number three. His box is a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. Um, I think because his cart is a little different, maybe. And here's Luigi. Hi, Luigi. 
I do think it's funny that these hover car ones still have wheels on them, which is which is fine. I mean, so they can. It's a it's a little different. The cart itself is different. Let's see if I can take that off. There we go. I don't know. I'll probably uh, compare all of them when I get the ones that I want to get, or whatever's whatever we get at the store. All right. Um. Let's see. Here's his little sticker sheet. Got two circular things for the sides and one for the front. Looks like. So we'll just have to figure out where those go according to the picture. Looks like the one on the front and then the two back ones go on the very very back of the yellow like fin. So let's figure that out. So yeah, if I find any more um, Sonic 3 items, like new ones, I will certainly let you guys know what I find. I have, um, I found single pack figures of uh, Sonic, Tails, Shadow, and Super Sonic. Uh, I think I was going to work on getting Robotnik, too. Boy, that one's hard to put on straight. Oh, I got it on there. I got it on there. <laughs> That's very tiny and hard to put on straight. Wow. Maybe just because I have delicate fingers. Alright, let's see if I can... Slide it down there. There we go. Perfect. Hi, Luigi. Look at that face. Look at that handsome face. Alright then. Alright, guys. Oh, wrap him up, put him in his box. Like I said, until I get the whole set or figure out what I want to do with these for now, um, I'm just going to put them away. But yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd do a little video checking them out. And uh, just to show you guys that uh, this is currently what McDonald's should have. If your location doesn't have them, um, they might just not get them in. Some locations don't get the toys they're supposed to have. They might get, like, the backstock toys. A lot of McDonald's have been getting those lately. Especially uh, toys that never sold. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Oh, I guess we can check out the box, huh? Let's check out the box. Alright. So here's a really cool... We got Mario on the front there. And uh, despite his head being turned there, you cannot turn their heads, just so you know. So don't try to turn his head to break it, because it's, you know, it won't. And let's see, this shows Yoshi, Peach, and the two specials on the back there, or on the side. Here's the back, generic, and here's the other ones. We've got, I think Toadette is the next one we're supposed to get, number four. And then you have Toad, Bowser, and Donkey Kong. Excelente. I mean, I feel like this box is a bit boring, don't you? Don't you think this is a little boring? It just shows the toys. The background's kind of just a generic... I don't know. I, f I feel like it's very low effort on their part. I mean, McDonald's has a history of having the coolest Happy Meal boxes ever. And just the past couple of years have been so minimalistic. It's strange, honestly. Anyway, that'll do it for this video, and uh, let me know in the comments below how your Halloween went, what you were for Halloween. I was a werewolf, by the way. Um, that was fun. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more action, and uh, I'll check you guys later. Thanks for watching.